Hey guys, we're just taking a walk in the woods tonight. We're gonna cook up some evening food. We've got some venison and some more cheddar wild mushrooms. It's here with my buddies, Rob and David. Hey guys. And yeah, we're just gonna get a little fire going. We're gonna cook something up. Should be nice. Not camping out tonight, but I wanna get as much as possible. Hey guys, so we've found a little place here, a nice little clearing with loads of dead wood around. Gonna call this camp for the night. Well, not for the night, just for, for dinner. Get a little fire going. Could be a little bit of rain coming in, so we'll get the top up. Nice. Round three. I think it's a combination of the bark being a bit damp and new ferro rods. Yeah, new ferro rods. It's probably quite hard for you guys to see. But this one's really quite like, worn down a bit already, but it's really shiny and slippy. It kind of doesn't produce the sparks that you're used to. So when you put loads of pressure on it, it doesn't seem to do anything. Down here it does, but I find that quite awkward when I'm lighting a fire. So I'll have to do some investigation. If anyone's got a good rod that they can recommend, that'd be good. Split wood on the fire. decided to make a wedge because it was just a little bit too big to bat on. What have we got David? Uh, these are more cello conicas, otherwise known as the uh, the black trumeral. A uh, super easy way to tell whether this is uh, a trumeral or uh, Morella, which it is, or a false, is to slice it down the middle. And if you see there, the, the, the top of the stem meets the bottom of the mushroom and the cavity goes all the way up. Right, yeah. Whereas in a false Morella, the, uh, the stem will travel inside the uh, inside the mushroom up to the top. Okay. And this gill will be overhanging. So, but yeah, best to, to cut these open and give them a wash out. Yep. As they could have loads of little insects, as you can imagine. Isn't it? Yeah, 100%. There's quite a few little gaps in there, yeah. crevices, aren't there? Best to wash it out. It needs to be cooked for like three to four minutes because they've got a chemical in them that causes like um, like gastric problems, okay. gas and things like that. So, so we'll cook to, them for yeah. a good good little while. Yeah, just to, just to burn those off. Yeah. But yeah, really, really tasty mushroom, really sought after. Uh, used a lot in French cuisine. Perfect. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Delicious. And what else have we got with it? Uh, we've got. Some venison steaks, very good. 
Yeah, real good quality. That's from our local estate, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Very good. nice. <coughs> It's a bit of red deer, did you see? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, nice, nice, and, yeah. nice and fresh as well. So we're just going to heat the skillet up now on the coals, we've got a good bed of embers. Put a bit of oil in there just to aid with any stick problems. Yeah, yeah I think that oil's getting there isn't it? Very windy tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of circling around is quite a nightmare for the smoke. Time to flip the uh, the venison, I think. That smells mighty fine. <laughs> right, and now we make this is you. So we put the morels in now, and we're just going to let them cook off in all the juices of the venison and the butter. And then there's going to be some addition of some red wine and a, you know, some spices, a bit of seasoning. Then we're going to reintroduce the steaks back into the pan, cook them up, and dinner is served. What have you got us? What is uh, it? A five-pound bottle of <laughs> Merlot from Chile. Merlot from Chile. Yeah, buddy. Very good. Thank you, Chileans. Cool, so we're just about to add the venison to the, uh, the juju. I'd say just about five, ten more minutes on the simmer. Yeah, uh, sim simmer. Such a nutty flavour from the mochello. Mm. Oh, really good. Making juju bread. <laughs> so it's a, a very successful meal. Time to get the fire back going now. Get some warmth into us. We've been sat down for quite a while. Easy to lose body heat when you're not exercising or exerting energy. But no, that was an astounding meal. Like it's really, really tasty. Michelin star worthy. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. Cooking up some venison steaks with some mortella mushrooms. My camera battery is about to die now, but I just wanted to say thanks for coming out to join us. We're going to stay here now for probably another hour or so. 
just relaxed by the fire. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.